ஹலோ காய்ஸ் அவையோ ஸோ இந்த லாஸ்ட் செஷன் வி டிஸ்கஸ்ட் அபவுட் த செக்யூரிட்டி பாலிசி அண்ட் வி கேம் டு நோ தட் ஹவு த ரூல்ஸ் கேன் பி கான்ஃபிகர்ட் ஸோ லெட்ஸ் சி ஒன் ஆஃப் த எக்ஸாம்பிள் ஹியர் தட் ஹவு த செக்யூரிட்டி பாலிசிஸ் ஆர் தேர் ரைட் ஸோ திஸ் இஸ் ஜஸ்ட் ஒன் ஆஃப் த எக்ஸாம்பிள் ஹியர் தட் ஹவு த செக்யூரிட்டி பாலிசிஸ் கேன் பி ரைட் ஸோ ஐ ஹேவ் ஃபில்டர் இட் அவுட் லெட் மூ ரிமூவ் தேட் ஒன் and then let's see one of the rule so we are having one rule here so this was the rule we configured in the previous session but uh, there is a problem that uh, whenever we go to production environment then uh, we used to listen a ticket or complaints right uh, we get the ticket in that uh, i have my machine which is trying to connect server and it is not connecting something is wrong because the whoever person raises the ticket he doesn't know that what is happening in between or even he might not be aware of the networking so now being a network admin it's your responsibility to find out that what has happened in between so this one thing that can be that the something like uh, uh, connectivity is missing that internet is not working or something or it can be having the multiple switches in between routers connecting and it can happen that it is not going through uh, these routers or something so uh, in some of the organization we are having a separate team for the routing and switching and a separate team for the firewall admin but in case they are the same team which is managing the firewall and routing and switching let us suppose we are the part of the team which is managing routing and switching and as well as the firewalls so in that case what you will do you will try to trace the destination let us suppose this is the uh, ip address uh, let us suppose 40.40.40.1 is the ip address of the server here this is the server and now it's your job to trace that one normally what you do you will trace it trace or if it is windows machine you can use this trace rt and this 40.40.40.1 what happens that it gives you hop wise hop that how many hops it is reaching let us suppose it gone to 1 2 3 4 hops and then it starts right it is showing as an star it means that the communication is okay up to fourth and after that one something is wrong and we are not getting the icmp reply now it's our job that we can log in this fourth device it can have this router or it can be uh, switch uh, not switch in fact because switch is not uh, coming in the uh, trace route so most probably it will be the router so what you have to do you have to log on this router in between where uh, this uh, router was there it has closed let me open it perfect so now it's your job that uh, you check it that which of the router it is blocking so let us suppose you logged on and you find out that this is the router and next hop is a firewall and the traffic is reaching up to router and it is not going through the firewall after that one we don't see any of the traffic so now you find out that there's no problem in the routing and switching the problem is with the firewall it can happen that uh, there's no rule in the firewall or the traffic is being uh, blocked or dropped in this firewall rules so now you are a firewall uh, guy and you have to log in this firewall and have to find out that are we getting the traffic for this from this source ip address let us suppose this source ip address is 192.168.1.20 so are we getting the traffic from this source ip first thing on this firewall or not and if it is coming to this firewall then let us suppose the port number of this server is 5219 so are we uh, getting the traffic for this destination and the port number 5219 so there's three things now we are having the source ip address we are having the destination ip address and next thing is our destination port so these three things are very crucial and that's what we check in the firewall logs so uh, in the uh, firewall logs what happens we normally go to the monitor tab here to check this 
we go to the monitor tab and here we see all these traffics what we can do we can filter out the traffic here source address dot source something like that one but uh, the problem is that uh, we don't have the license of this firewall so the traffic is showing blank here alternatively what we can do we can use the session browser here for the same thing it gives the same thing but uh, the traffic is more convenient to check uh, I will show you the screenshot, one screenshot that how exactly we can filter it. But before that one, let's jump to our practical scenario that what we are going to do today. I'm uh, We are having the rule in the firewall that uh, any of the traffic, any of the traffic from this network 192, 168, 1.0 will be allowed to go to the internet right so let me just check it that do, do we have that access or not so this is my machine so it has access and the google is working very fine i just refreshed it once again right it is working so this was the uh, exercise we did, did in the previous session now let us suppose this is another machine 1.20 the ip address i have to change let me change it quickly so if you don't know how to change the ip address that's how we normally change it so this time i'm giving ip address 192.168 dot one dot 20 subnet mask will be the same and the default gateway is 192.168 1 dot 100 which is on the this interface right this will be the default gateway the same is configured on this machine and the dns i am giving as 8.8.8 .8 .8. So now by default, this machine can also access this internet. Let me check it. Google.com and establishing secure connection. It means that it is working fine, right? There's no problem with that one. Now what I'm going to do, I'm just changing a firewall rule here. I'm going to policies. And uh, here I'm going to add one more rule block 20 block 20 means other another machine I'm blocking it will not be allowed to go to the internet source zone will be the trust and source address is going to be 192.168.1.20 and uh, let's say 192.168.1.20 this is my IP address fine and the user is any destination zone I want to give it as a untrust application will be any this is also any actions I'm going to block it fine log session at the start hit ok and commit it <coughs> and another thing i have to do that i have I have to make this rule at the top perfect now i just commit it what i am going to do i will just filter it out that why the traffic is not working for this one right how you just troubleshoot so with this block 20 uh, the user which is having ip address 192.168 1.20 he will not be allowed to go to the internet this guy who is having the ip address of 1.20 so by default it is visible here let me show okay it is not changing it i have to restart the machine but this is actually uh, 1.20 let me show you so this is 1.20 and now after this commit is successful he will not be allowed to go to the internet now let's check it here this is and let's refresh it and it will be blocked now waiting for google it is uh, 
not allowed to go to the internet the problem is like uh, this uh, person who is uh, very genuine <laughs> uh, this guy uh, let us suppose his name is sam and sam raises a ticket that i am not able to raise and i am not able to use the internet and he raises the ticket and tickets lands to your you are a firewall guy and it's uh, the routing guy checks that uh, seems like there's an issue with the firewall and you're not allowed to go to the internet or even if you it is allowed or not allowed but by default uh, the tickets are traveling here and there it comes to check at your end now uh, it is your responsibility what you do you go to the firewall and uh, you just uh, what you have to do you have to go to the monitor tab because it's your responsibility to first find out that are we getting this traffic or not right so what you do you just filter the ip address 192.168.1.20 now normally you see it here there are a lot of traffic from 1.20 but whenever there's a production environment what is going to happen you have like large number of sessions it's really difficult to do that you will not be able to see your ip address so in that case what you have to do you have to just filter your traffic once you filter your ip address now you see all the ip addresses of this source port right 1.20 now after that one you see that rule what rule it is hitting it is hitting the rule number 20 right rule number 20 what says it says that block right from the rule only you can get it and there's a benefit in the traffic tab if you would have been the traffic tab and filter here uh, there is an option uh, drop down it just simply uh, gives you an action allow or deny allow or deny so in that case you can also check that whether that traffic is allowed or denied but alternatively we can check it here as well we see that the traffic is hitting block 20 it means that it is not allowed you can check this block 20 rule and it is saying as not allowed right it can happen that you don't have any of the rule configured for that traffic in that case what will happen it will be hitting default rules so default rules are like intra zone so if your traffic is hitting to the intra zone not in fact the intra zone it will be hitting intra zone because intra zone is allowed by default so uh, if it is not working then it might be happen that uh, inter zone i am not able to write inter zone <laughs> so it will be hitting inter zone so inter zone if it is hitting that inter zone uh, default rule it means that this traffic is not allowed so this that's what you can uh, check it from this session browser that actually what is happening for that traffic right so this is the troubleshooting way that whether the traffic is coming to your firewall or it is not coming right so it can happen that you just filtered it out and you are not getting traffic uh, from the source ip address this if you are not getting traffic it means that something behind that one is wrong some routing is problem or the machine is not initiating the traffic or something in between the path is broken because it is not reaching the firewall now you are seeing the traffic here it means that something is wrong uh, is with the firewall you check it you find out that it is blocking the traffic it is not allowed to the pass through the firewall it might be the case that it is allowed through the firewall but still he is having the issues it means that the problem is something here after the firewall if the traffic is you are pretty sure that it is passing the firewall so that's how we troubleshoot the traffic in the real environment let me uh, find out the screenshot uh, for the traffic one because i that is really important and that's what we used in the licensed version so i just don't want to miss uh, showing you the screenshot of the traffic one so this is the image of the traffic tab that how exactly the uh, traffic looks like here right so you see that uh, we are having the receive time mentioned that at what time the traffic was uh, received and we are having an action here that the traffic is allow or deny so if the rule it is hitting which is deny so it will be mentioned as a deny here right so you can easily come to know that the traffic is passing from this source address or it is not another way to filter that one uh, 
uh, here we filter it like this address dot source in 172.16.1.2 so that's how we uh, mentioned it if you want to mention it like address dot destination so we can filter it like addr dot dst right or we can see the port dot source so that's how we filter the traffic in this traffic tab but the result is same as we were seeing from the session browser there's no change in that one as we see in the session browser same thing we can do with the traffic but here this uh, more granular approach and we can see it better so this is just to troubleshoot the traffic that how exactly it is traveling and where it is blocking all right guys so that's what is for the troubleshooting the traffic where it is blocking and it is uh, allowed or deny and uh, Let's see uh, more sessions and we will be learning NAT, URL filtering and all HA. There's a lot of things to going to do and uh, let's meet in the next session. Till that, bye-bye. See you soon.